The last thing I wanted to do today is do a bit of polishing on the UI. This is because uh, if we want to actually show this to our friends and, and family, we probably want to make it a bit nicer and rather than having a, an ever scrolling terminal, we want to make it a bit, um, a bit more polished, right? So the good news is if you look for um, if you look for um, shards that allow you to manipulate the uh, the terminal, and in particular if you look for bindings of end curse, which is one of the most popular ways of uh, most ancient ways of uh, dealing with uh, terminal UIs, uh, you can probably find CRT as one of them. Uh, so CRT is a shard is not super actively maintained but it does the job uh, the last the last commit was uh, from one year ago and the last version that saw this running were, of crystal was uh, 0 0.26.1 but i've tried this uh, by myself and i know that it works so what i'll do is i'll update our dependencies in the shard yaml for the second time in this session and introduce this new dependency on crt I'm gonna take, uh, I'm gonna run shards uh, update. <clears throat> there we go, now we depend on uh, CRT as well. And then I'm gonna go to our, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something a bit controversial here. So I'm gonna be initializing the window inside our, um, our printer module. So before running our, so as we start our uh, our printer fiber we're just gonna do what we see inside here so we first initialize uh, so require CRT we then initialize a window at the beginning of the lifetime of our of our uh, fiber uh, 24 times 80 I think it should be all right let's say yeah this would be 24 lines I think that's enough for our use case for now, but you can see this could be 48. And 80 is the width, let's say 120. Let's see if this causes any problems. And then what we do is we call win clear, uh, which is the beginning of our cycle. And we do that every time we receive a new update, a new, a new uh, set of data, we call win clear. And then we call win print with the location say zero zero and then uh, give the content that we want to print i cannot just pass a table object i'll show you why in a second uh, and then we will call win.refresh so the windows so the the, dis the um, data displayed to the to the user does not change until we call refresh hence the cycle clear print refresh because clear is not actually going to clear the screen for the user refresh is going to be the one updating the the ui for the user which kind of decouples your data handling from uh, the actual refresh of the screen if we try to run this we get a compilation error saying hey you cannot pass table to our print method because i'm expecting a string uh, and that's and that's okay as you can see but the good news is we can just call because table at the end of the day is something we were passing to our io uh, put string we can just turn the table into uh, into a string and this uh, should now work the other thing i forgot to do before before going on which might give us some trouble is the fact that we'd like to also um call crt done once the execution is over and a good place to do that is inside the ensure block so we call done.close and before doing that we call crt.done so that CRT knows that there's nothing nothing left to be printed. And you can see that the screen is quite clean. There's no more scrolling up and down on our terminal. And things look gorgeous, really. So we managed to uh, get a new, um, new life, give a new life to our UI, which is now uh, a, bit, a bit nicer. And we can now control C. There we go. We see goodbye. One thing you might not like about this approach is the fact that uh, we don't have the time to look at the data once we press Control C. So we'd like to have some sort of uh, way to uh, at least get a final view on the data. Something we can do is before 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 quitting, we can actually um, 
inspect the state of our uh, stats store. So stats store exposes a get method. So we can do put um, stats store get, which is going to print on the screen uh, the the totals for the for the run. It's not super pretty, so another approach would be to actually use log and do log in logger dot info on the uh, on stats store dot get. But remember that because logger info is actually working in an asynchronous fashion, we might have to wait a second or so before closing so that we make sure that we're flushing to uh, to the disk. We give enough time to the crystal runtime to keep up uh, with the with the logging. Um, duties. Again, if I control C, you can see I'm printing the entire internal state of our um, of our stats uh, store. Thanks for watching. Um, let me know if you have any comment or questions. Uh, hope you had some fun. I definitely learned a lot while while preparing this session.